Hey there, my name is Leo, Ling Leo, and I'm a freshman undergrad at Tsinghua University studying politics, philosophy, and economics. Today, I'm going to take you out on a city walk in Beijing. Beijing, as you might know, is a city with a deep culture and history. We have places like the Great Wall of China and the Forbidden City. And so how do I choose from all of these cultural heritages on where to take you? In the end, I decided on the Gulo. And as you'll see today, I chose this place because it's so integrated into the day-to-day -day lives of Beijing. Here we go! Right now, the Gulo, the drum tower, is a nationally protected site. And actually, you can see it's undergoing renovations right now. So I really think it's just so cool how much effort the Chinese government is putting into maintaining the culture and heritage that's so important to Chinese people. And it's not just the tower itself. I mean, there's so many cool activities taking place around here. Look, there are a lot of old people who are engaging in an activity called Ti Jianzi. And it's when you use your feet to essentially kick a little feather ball up and down. I really love how this is taking place between two major historical buildings, the bell tower and the drum tower. What I think is most interesting is that this is not only a sport that Chinese people are doing. Here we have some foreigner friends who are also partaking in this very Chinese tradition. So this concludes our trip to Gulo, the drum tower. And even though it's a bit of a shame that it's under construction right now and we can't go up there and show you how it's like, I've personally been there before and I can tell you it's magnificent. When you go up there, the view, you can see all of Beijing. And what's actually a very fun fact is that this line between the Gulo and the Zhonglo, the bell tower and the drum tower, is actually the line that goes through all of Beijing and ends up at the Forbidden City. So that's a really cool fact. So I'm going in now. Yan Dai Jie is actually one of the oldest alleyways, or what Beijing people call Hu Tongs in Beijing. It was formed during the Yuan Dynasty, and there is a host of all kinds of shops, mainly food and a lot of good food that you can find around here. I'll show you guys around. Here we have the most famous Peking duck, Beijing Kao Ya. I'm going to get this amazing Gui Hua Ga Na. I'm eating this Gui Hua Gao I just got. And, mm, so good, so good. Here we have a traditional Chinese tailor shop with a lot of traditional Chinese dresses called Qi Pao. And look, I'm in the store right now. There's not only beautiful dresses like this one, but there's also this cool suit I can wear. They say this store has been open for 20 years here now, and it really shows how culture and art like this passes through one generation after the other. This concludes my tour of Yan Dongjie, and my impression has been that even within China, there are so many fascinating aspects of its culture that manifest in things like various foods from various provinces, but also in artists and shops like cutting paper, like making potteries. I think it's beautiful what the city has achieved in bringing all of these traditional aspects of Chinese culture together. And I'm deeply impressed by all of them. And most of all, there are just so many people here. And not only Chinese people are fleeing, quite some foreigners too. We're all just here having fun, relaxing, shopping, a lot of filling our stomachs. And if you ever come to Beijing, this is a place you have to come to. It's almost dark, and we are here at the Shensha Hai Gong Yuan. This one took a bit longer than all of the other trips. It took us around 10 minutes on the motorcycle to get here. And so this water park is really known for its beauty. You can look at how the water glistens, and it's just so serene to walk around here. You can look at how the beautiful willow tree branches are just hanging over here. It's really just a vibe to walk around and relax around here. Apparently, a lot of famous people live around here and there's a royal temple somewhere. In the summer, a lot of people come here to just fish, relax, enjoy life. You can see back there is a place for a lot of tourists to just get boats and just, you know, ride around the lake. In the winter, when this lake freezes, it makes a great place for ice skating. Walking around this lake, 
I'm really getting to appreciate, admire, I'm always envious of the life that these people live. To be able to sit here, enjoy the serenity, be at peace with yourself, be at peace with nature, enjoy the sounds of birds chirping, of fish splashing in and out of water. It's really a magnificent place to be. So, this concludes our city walk for today. We went to the Gulou Drum Tower, we went to the Yendou Jie Shi, and we went to the Shensha Hai Gong Yan. Honestly, my biggest takeaway from today is that Beijingers know how to have fun. Whether it's grabbing your favorite bite of street food, or just chilling by the lake and fishing, or it's Ti Jian Zi, which I've never ever done before, but I really want to now. Beijingers really are able to integrate thousands of years of Chinese culture into their day-to-day -day lives, and that's why I most appreciate about this city. At the last thing, what I want to do is I want to wish everyone watching a happy national holiday.